We love. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Inspirational Talks with Laura Simmons. I am Laura Simmons. Today I have with me Ursula D. Allen, the Hot Topic Princess, Margaret Green, the Real Estate Queen, and Shanita J., the Celebrity Gossip Queen. Yes. Yay. How's everybody doing today? You're doing, I'm doing fine. Doing pretty good. Good, good. Ursula, can you hear us? <laughs> she froze again. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess she's fine too. I can hear you. I can't see um on your sister and Shanita. I cannot see them. Lie, the screen is black. They mm -hmm. probably can't see me either. Yeah, we can see you. We it's just see not, you. you're not moving though. Yeah, is your your screen, your screen is screen frozen. frozen? Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to jump into our um, day for today. Um, we're going to start out with our real estate queen today. All right, get us going, Margaret Green. The real Hello, estate everyone. Queen. I'm glad to be here. and um, I'm glad to be able to bring this, lo this little bit of information, little tidbits about real estate and what to look for and how to prepare yourself. Um, I'm going to start out with prep. My, my topic is going to be preparation to buy. <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is get cre credit ready, reduce debt, keep credit accounts at, a be at or below 30%, your debt to income ratio. Mm -hmm. um, number two, you want to get pre approval. And that's, and that, and once you get pre approval, you get a letter from, the lender saying that you've been approved for a certain amount of money. Now there's a process of pre-approval and there's a process of pre-qualified. Pre-qualified gets you, that's number three, which is pre-qualified gets you prepared to get the to pre-approval. Um, the pre-approval and the pre-qualified process is just the beginning process to get approved. They are collecting debt, in, they are collecting your debt information, your credit information, your um, credit information, your um, W-2 tax information, your current employer. All those things are important when you're preparing for to get pre-qualified for a mortgage. Um, one of the things I would, would definitely recommend, do not, do not create more credit while you're in the process of trying to get a house and do not change jobs while you're trying to get a house because if you change jobs no matter if it's going to be more money or not it can uh, it can stop your um your process right where it is and you will have to start all over again and wouldn't have to, you would have to wait for another six to eight a six to six months to a year again to get pre-qualified because that because it, it, even if it's in the same field you, you that's a no-no you just don't do it just wait until you have finished and you have closed on your mortgage. Um, and then you don't want to, you, you, you don't, you don't have to buy to the max of what you've been pre-approved for. So say for instance, you was approved for 400,000. That doesn't mean you need to go and get four hundred, get a mortgage for 400,000. Yes. In some States, you may have to use your the full amount of your pre-approval because there um because that's where the price the market is the the price market and the price points are um it's getting harder and harder now because in some places um values have skyrocketed so it's almost almost some in some cases almost impossible to, to, to find something but you know every now and then there's something that come on the market that might be within your price uh, price point um the other thing is be, um, because it helps keep your debt to income ratio. If you can keep it below the amount that you was pre-approved for, that leaves you room for, if you wanted to say, for instance, say for instance, later on, you wanted to might may want to buy some investment property. They're going to look at your debt to income ratio. 
and they're going to look at all your debt. They're going to look at your current mortgage. They're going to look at all what you have right now, uh, any credit cards, any um, any loans, and don't co-sign for anybody either. Um, and they're going to look at all that. And once they, then they look at what you're, what you're asking to borrow, along with what you already have, bar, already have in your name as far as credit is concerned. And that will determine whether or not they can loan you any more money and whether or not your income, current income your and your debt, whether or not it will be sufficient to accommodate another mortgage on another piece of property. Um, for, you know, or in some cases you can um, refinance your current mortgage to take cash out to get the other property. It's totally up to you. It's, uh, it's totally up to you. Um, and one of the things you want to keep in mind is PMI. Private mortgage insurance is part of usual with mortgages when you when you um don't when your down payment is less than 20%. If you put down three and a three and a half, which is what FHA usually allow you to put down, um, the minimum is three and a half percent with FHA. If you put down three and a half percent, then you're gonna have PMI insurance. So your mortgage will consist of PI, TI, and then you would have P, P, um, private mortgage insurance because your basic mortgage is principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. That's what your actual regular mortgage is. The PMI come in when you are below 20% loan to value. So you want to keep that in mind when you're making a decision about um, down payment, how much you can afford to put down. And um, and then you, and, and that usually and with the FHA, that usually lasts with the life of the loan. Now, with conventional loans, you can actually put down um, less, but they, they and then once your property reached the value of 20% loan to value, you can actually request that the PMI um, insurance be removed from your mortgage because that's usually another $200 and more, or more mo a month added to your mortgage. So you want to definitely keep that in mind when you're buying a uh, um when you're buying a house when you're making a down payment um because once that you know um because once you get once you get started with that if you do that like if you do do with FHA that's different it stays with the life of the loan in most cases um and so and what you want to also keep in mind is consider your overall budget and current expenses so you can um have room to continue to save money for that rainy day for the emergency situation that you might be in that you can find that you find yourself in so you can be able to handle any expenses if something happens so you want to make sure that you um keep your your budget within within arm's reach where you don't have to go overboard you know shoot so those are some of the things that i just wanted to touch bases on and and, and so i can get you ready for it about that first home by that second home about that investment property. And that's my spin on, on real estate today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. Good tips. Good tips. Good tips. Okay. So Nita J. Shanita J. Let's um bring that celebrity stuff on, baby girl. Well, um, on a less brighter note, um, I would like to send my condolences to Regina King and her family. She lost her son uh, to a to apparent suicide. Um, he was 26 years old, so you know, wow. very um, heart wrenching. Yeah, definitely. yeah, that is definitely definitely. Yes. He, she took him along with her to war everywhere. shows yeah. and everywhere. You she know? sure did. So, you know, yes. he make sure she shout him out in different uh, speeches, you know, because over the years, she's definitely been bringing home those accolades. And so it's I'm pretty sure this is a very tumultuous time for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my heart goes out to Regina King and her family yeah. as well. Um, I, did see a, um, I did see a uh, show with Vivica Fox and Lisa Ray. It's called Crowns and Queens or something like that. Or some cups or something. I can't think of the name of it. But anyway, they were on there. And um, Vivica Fox said that she did get a chance to talk to Reg Regina King. And um, Regina King um, had called her and asked her to come over. And, and you could see the, the tears in... Um, 
and this all their just, faces really yeah yeah they you, she was like she was ready to break down and and i just felt so sorry for them 